Hello, small cock guys. Welcome home to Eden, where everyone is just as juicy and juiciness is all that matters. <laughs> this is Eve Kristoff, your love life muse. Stick with me for the hottest news and subscribe to this channel to get somewhere new. This is Love Life with Eve for men and I also have Eve's Eden for women just starting up. So, check it out. You have more um, miracles coming to you through this video than, than you can imagine, okay? I know a girlfriend who used to tell me about her small cock boyfriend who had this incredibly manly energy about him. The way he put his arm around her, the way he was into her, the way he provided for her on a date, and he was good at making decisions and yet responding to her. And, and it was his energy, she said, would penetrate her being through his cock. She said his heart was connected to his cock in such a way that she could feel his heart enter her through this very small cock, which, which then had a penetrating energy that continued through into her body so that she didn't need this big thrusting powerful thing going on. It was an energetic uh, male um, prowess that was absolutely spiritually real and it came through his penis to her. <laughs> now, some of the things that I would suggest is that you can warn women when you're dating. You can say, look, I have a small cock and I make up for it in every way. And as a matter of fact, my girlfriends don't think there's anything to make up for once they get to know me as a lover. You know, because, because you're an amazing kisser and because you love to go down on women and you're incredible with your hands and you know how to honor a woman. And, um, and you can talk about this small cock uh, that you've been given as a gift, as a major gift that the gods gave you because it has made you more of a man. It has made you, instead of cock-centered, you have become pussy-centered. <laughs> pussy-centered men are the most treasured of all unicorn lovers because the woman comes away from the experience totally nourished, like she has just been ah, oh, pleasured beyond pleasure because it is not the need for a, 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 a cock actually any size cock that, that touches her, all of her erogenous zones. Your hands can do that. Your mouth can do that. And your cock, small as it is, has a length that is as long as you want it to be. It can be 10 inches, you know, because it's the penetrating energy that comes through your cock. And if you can extend that energy visually, she will literally feel it to the back of her body if you start to envision your energy flowing into her, through her, all the way to her. This is a real thing. <laughs> now, another encouragement is that guys get shy about having a small cock and then they get out of practice, right? So, uh, another girlfriend of mine had, had um, ended up marrying a man who had a smaller cock than she ever thought she would marry. <laughs> And uh, but she said the thing is that the love was so profound and and their connection was so beautiful and it really uh, was a, something she was a little sad about at first because she couldn't feel him as much as she wanted. But then he got into this rhythm of rhythm of going down on her once a month on a, um, a certain time of the, the, the month, I think it was when she was fertile, where he would go down on her and then she would go down on him a certain time of the month when he had time off from his job, you know, and they, they, they um, and, and she started to get more and more aroused and as she became more aroused, the walls of her pussy became more full and so they surrounded him better and she could feel him more and more over time and their their relationship became so loving so full of trust that he actually uh, they they became very sexual they they had sex a lot and he actually grew more than uh, you, you know actually a hopeful inch you know because that's what happens um as over by practicing with with a woman um 
Now, why doesn't this happen with masturbation? I think it's because the actual act of penetration has an extending energy to it. And if you're extending into her, penetrating her with your being and your body, it, that's what actually grows a cock over time. Um, but not that you need to. You know, let, let's just get with that this is a miracle. You, you have been given a great gift, a great miracle, because it has made you learn about women women's real needs and real and how to really pleasure a woman are all these levels with your spirit and your heart and your words. So be magnanimous and, and open about it right away <laughs> if you're into her and, and tell her what you want to do for her. See, this is the thing. Guys think they want to show off and they want to say to the women, I'm gonna, my cock's gonna be so big that you're just gonna be overwhelmed by the how I'm a, I could go for hours, mama. And she's like, uh huh, uh huh, it's all about him, uh huh, showing off or whatever. You know, but when the guy starts talking about what he'll do for her, I'm gonna take you to the moon. I'm gonna pleasure you so in, in so many delicate ways. You, you know, you're gonna be laughing your head off. You know, you know, you're not gonna be able to stop laughing. You know, I can, I can tell it, you're, you're. A pussy, you're a pussy power woman. I mean, talk to her about her anatomy and her pleasure, and believe me, you will get, you will get everywhere you want to go. You will, and she will so appreciate your honesty and your humbleness and your your intense like uh, dedication to the cause. All right. <laughs> Much love to you. Thank you for the question. And I know that this comes from you, um, brave soul, to go ahead and ask what many men are wondering who have smaller cocks. And, and, and to um, remember that you are a great artist. You are a, one of the greatest musicians of all time. Everybody, everybody should listen to your, uh, your music and your, your, your channel and... Um, uh, you know, and, and that is really sexy. Like you have, you've excelled in your life purpose. A man who has mastered his craft, who's come to the, one of the highest levels of, uh, of performance, creatively fulfilling a dream, the desire of the gods, the gods desire to hear music. The gods are listening to you. They, they are crying and weeping when they hear your guitar. <laughs> so this is sexy. Why do you think these rock stars get laid all the time? The women, they're not thinking about their cocks. <laughs> they're thinking about their guitars and their drums and their <laughs> basses. That, that, that takes the place of the cock. I'm serious. <laughs> Because music penetrates a woman's being uh, as much as any turn on. Music is probably, music and dance are the two ones that just take a woman all the way there in her, in her kinesthetic full body being. I mean, really, we want, women want to be taken out of their heads. We are, our heads are masculine. They're ruining everything. We want to be in our feminine. <laughs> and you have this ability, although your music is very masculine, <laughs> all the guys want to sound like you still it doesn't matter to her because that yeah it does matter I guess it's prowess it's it is intense uh, penetration of the planetary uh, prayer for music that makes you that moves the soul that opens the heart and spirit and if you want to post your name below this video for people to hear and be as brave as you are already you're gonna have volunteers all kinds of women will volunteer to um, be <laughs> be delighted by you okay <laughs> much love small cock guys who are not great uh guitarists or musicians of any kind um you have other things that you do that are your masculinity um shows in all these other ways and remember women are all about who you are we that's the beauty of women that's why guys should not be so cock centered women are mainly about who you are, you know, and, and how you connect with us and what you what you bring to, to the table <laughs> so that we can eat together. <laughs> Much love. I hope that helps. Extend your energy through your cock into her being. Okay.
Enjoy your pussy.